Hey my friends, it's Josie. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I wanted to share with you the energy update for May 18th. So here's what I know about the full moon in May. So the full moon is always a powerful time, very intense energy, everything intensifies. And this moon in Scorpio is really a taking good look at your emotions. You may find that your emotions will be triggered one way or another, especially when you are involved in some kind of power struggles, if you are involved with money, if something comes up with you and you feel like you are threatened, your ego is threatened, your power is threatened, and you feel like you want to protect yourself, you want to keep your point. So here is a suggestion. Kindness is better than righteousness. Choose to be kind rather than right. Wayne Dyer said it well. If you have a choice to be right or to be kind, choose kind. So understand that a lot of people during the time of the full moon, everybody's energy is intensified and pretty much around the same issues. And if you are in close proximity with certain people, such as your family members, you cannot help but see these dynamics in them and they see the same things in you. And a lot of these issues will be brought up to the surface. Maybe you will discuss financial difficulties. So the key here is to learn to negotiate instead of blaming, instead of pointing fingers. Creating balance is the key. Creating harmony and finding ways to negotiate rather than dominate rather than showing who is the boss. Kindness is better than righteousness. When full moon happens, people sometimes go out of their character. People sometimes say things they don't mean. They will regret it later. But if you keep that level of awareness, you will not react to somebody's words. You will take them and you will process them with kindness. Later, everything will be settled. But during the time of oh, this full moon energy, especially in Scorpio, you will find a lot of these kind of emotional, painful issues coming up to the surface in people around you. So be mindful. Okay, so another suggestion for the time of the full moon is for you to spend time by water. If there is a lake where you live, maybe it's a pond or a stream or an ocean. The key here is not to be just sitting and meditating by water. The key here is to be active around water because water itself will be interacting with the moon. And if you are somewhere by the body of water. You are interacting directly with the moon and the water in you the same way is in the same frequency, on the same energy level as the water around you. Walk, just really move your body, shake it off, just do some kind of stretching, especially stretching your arms, stretching your legs, because there's a lot of emotions are trapped inside of your big muscles. So when you're doing a lot of exercises by the water, you will find that this is a highly effective healing and clearing thing that you can do for yourself, especially around the time of the full moon. And of course, drink more water. Hydration is very important around the full moon because your body, if it's dehydrated, will be in a state of stress. It will ask you for all kinds of things. And you may think that you're hungry and you may overeat. You may overthink because there's these hormones in your body are out of balance. All you have to do is, is hydrate, is put your body into balance by providing it with lots and lots and lots of water. And finally, another tip for you to harmonize this energy of the full moon is to focus on 
structure, especially at home. Reorganize, get rid of clutter, get rid of things that you don't need. Really put away all of your seasonal clothes. Do whatever you need to do to stay organized so the energy flows easier, that you will not be stressed by things being out of order, out of hand, when life around you is organized, when you know where things are. You will go through this time effortlessly. You will feel good in your environment. You will feel like you are in control, in control of your environment, of your emotions, and of your life. So by organizing your home, by creating beauty around you will help you to transition through this time over the full moon smoothly. So here you go, my friends. I hope this served you. If you want to share your stories, put them in the comments below. Or if you want to ask me questions, go to juicygrouse.com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.